Hello everybody, Max with A1 Website Pro, and as usual, there's no intros, we're just going to get right into it. Today's lesson is all about the snipping tool. We have my beautiful bride here, Mary, and what we're going to do is experiment with her picture on how we can use the snipping tool. So if we go down to search, and we type in snip, you can see that we have the snipping tool come up, and this is the application that we're going to use. So the We'll go ahead and fire that up and you'll notice this notification that the snipping tool is moving and it's asking you to try snip and sketch. Well, we're going to do that next, but let me show you how to do the snipping tool. First of all, you want to go over here where it says mode and I find the easiest one is to do the rectangular snip. And what that means is we'll do the re whenever we click and drag our mouse, notice how we can make a rectangle or a square. And then when we let up on the, the left click, on the button, you could see that we have this image here to work with. Now, if you wanted to highlight anything on the image, uh, you could go up here and grab your pen, blue, red, blue, black. So we'll use blue, and maybe I'll circle her eye. Okay. And so we can, you know, add notations uh, this way. If, if you have like a, a document, you could use the highlighter, or you can even use the highlighter here. Okay. So it's pretty simple to use. Now, uh, the other thing too is there's a delay. So notice how you, you might wonder why uh, it has a delay. Well, if you go down to start here and you type in SNIP, uh, no, let's say that you wanted this screenshot. Well, if you go to select new and you'll notice that the entire thing is lit up when it highlights in this uh, light gray area you know you, it does it instantly but if I hit select delay that's going to give me enough time whenever I click new to type in the go down there to search it's gonna give me five seconds okay one two three four five and then here we go now I could go like that and now I have my my snapshot so that that's the good thing about the delay now after you uh, do what you need to do let me go ahead and make this delay no delay and I'm going to grab a, a snapshot of Mary here her beautiful face and then I can actually I could I could save it to my computer and I could save it to a, 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 a folder and I could call it Mary and then I click save. It's in my downloads folder. And if I go to my downloads folder, you can see I have this snippet right there of Mary. Okay. The one that I just, the, 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 the screen that I just took. If I, you can also just copy this picture and paste it in an email. Here you can actually, if you have your email program set up on your Windows PC, you could just Click that and it'll open up your email programs and attach it to an email. Um, of course, I already went over the different color pens with you. And you can actually customize the color if you want it to be a, a different pen, if you want the thickness to be bigger or not. And uh, this here, like if, if, if I highlighted something and I'm like, oh, I made a mistake. Here's the eraser. I could just go ahead and erase that. And... Uh, this thing right here will t open up uh, Paint 3D, so you can edit in Paint 3D. All right. So, and and all these tools here you can you, you can find up here as well. All right. So that being said, let's go to the other snipping tool that Windows has, and that's automatically included in Windows 11. Once again, if you type in Snip, you can see this Snip and Sketch. Now this has a, a little bit more advanced features on it. Let me go ahead and uh, I had it open on another screen here. So let me try this one more time for you. Snip. We're going to go to a snip and sketch. And when you open it up, it, it's a box that looks like this. Now you can actually press the Windows logo key plus Shift and S to get this program to come up too. And it will automatically uh, have a, a snip ready. So let me just go ahead and show you what that looks like. So uh, Windows key, Shift, and S. And notice now the screen gets all dark. 
And let me get a picture of uh, Mary's necklace here, with her mouth. And notice I have this snippet. It's saved to the clipboard. So I can actually click on this, and it'll bring in that image. Now, I could also do that by selecting New whenever I uh, go to my snip and sketch from the, the get-go like we had before. Windows Start, let me fire that up. If I select this New, now notice this drop down here. I can actually delay it 3 seconds or 10 seconds, but I don't have to worry about that. But You'll recognize that from the sniffing tool we were just going over. So let me hit New. And we'll grab her uh, beautiful face here with her necklace. All right. Let that bring in. Now, we could go ahead and start editing this as well. You notice right here, we got touch writing. Like, uh, we'll, we'll just say Mary. M-A-R-Y. And be like, we can also erase that. Get it off, or we can change the color. Okay. And then we can erase that. And here's something that's really cool that Snip and Sketch has that, uh, well, a couple things. Number one, it has this ruler. So you can imagine if this was a document and I wanted to highlight something, but I wanted it to be a straight line, I can use this. Notice how I can make a straight line like that. Now, the other thing I can do is I could turn this ruler based upon where my mouse is and I could grab a pen and I can make a straight line this way and that's that's really useful and notice where I put my mouse that's where the pivot point is for that ruler uh, they also have a, uh, a protractor so when you want to do circles and stuff so let's go ahead and grab the, the red pen and maybe we'll go up to her eye and notice how the circles too big well, if I use the center rolling button on my mouse, I can actually have that get smaller. And I can go ahead and take my red pen and make a circle. And when I'm ready to be done with that, I just hit protractor again and it disappears. Okay? Now, if I wanted to crop this image more, I also have this image crop. And the old snipping tool didn't have that. And maybe we wanted to just focus on maybe necklace or maybe maybe the eyes here beautiful eyes huh? and then all I have to do is hit enter and there you go all right once again we could well we could use this to zoom in zoom out and then once again we could save it we could copy it or we could share it uh, yeah, uh, with different Microsoft applications and we have the feedback hub, the OneNote, and actually use you could use your mail program that you have set up on your Windows computer like before. These three dots, if you hit them, that's where you have, you can open another file and you can open with, you could print this, you could send feedback or, and go to the settings and tips and tricks. But that's a rundown, a, a breakdown of what you have with this uh, snip and sketch. And I also included alternatives. So if you go to the description in this video, uh, to the link uh, to, to my website post, there's a bunch of different alternatives to Snip and Sketch and uh, the Windows Snipping Tool. If you need any assistance, please consult that post. There's a lot more information on there and written instructions. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Max with AIM Website Pro, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.